Hi everyone, I just thought I'd um, do a quick video on everything we bought for our little man so far. This is basically all he's actually got. Um, it's not even stored away yet, it's stored in, in a plastic bath that my, that my mum got us for him. Um, so everything still needs to be stored away. I need to buy a chest of drawers but I will do that. Um, hopefully before he comes but if not we'll we'll find somewhere to store his things it'll be fine with this being my third baby i realized that in sort of the first week month so they don't need loads of outfits they don't need they don't you don't know what size they're gonna be so really there's not much point in buying loads of things before before he arrives he's got enough to keep him covered for, a, for the first month or so so i'll um i'll get into to what he's got a lot of his baby grows and um, you will have seen in the a packed in his hospital bag i think I've probably packed about five of his baby grows in that, so he's got those, which will obviously come home with us and be washed, but he's got these ones as well. He's got this one, these, that was in a set from Next. This this one is from um, from my, sister, my brother and sister-in-law. You would have seen this one before. This one's in a slightly bigger size, but me and my mum loved it. We picked that one up. Due to not knowing what size it's going to be, and my other two being half, uh, half an ounce of £8, we thought we'd get pretty sure that's in 0 to 3 yes it is we didn't get any any newborns really so this one i think is in newborn this is another one that came in a set from next i think the other two of these are packed in the hospital bag just a plain white one that came in a set this one came in a set from morrison's and this one was freddie's when he was a baby this one is in up to one month from next um either wore it um, and this little man will be wearing it as well at some point. I was going to take to hospital, but he's got his own bits, so he'll, he'll wear that at home sometime. I do think that the next baby grows have got bigger since since I bought that one five years ago, which is which is fine. But that one he might need to wear straight away to to fit into it. So that's all all of the baby grows that he's got. That is it. No others except for the ones that are in his bag. Then I have one. Two, three, four, five, six short sleeve vests. Again, there's five sets of everything packed in his, in his bag. So it's hospital, so I've got another. They're all short sleeves, I think, that are packed in his hospital bag. So there's another five of those. So we've got those vests. And then I've also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven long sleeved. Ones. These are from Primark, from Morrison, Marks and Spencer's Next, all, all um, here on my right on my floor. Um, they're from various places, so that's that's his long sleeve vest, and that, I think that's all the long sleeve vests he's got. I don't think I've packed any in his bag. Um, I've packed about just I think I've only packed two or three bibs in his um, in his hospital bag. I'm hoping to breastfeed, so I've got like two of the yeah two bandana bibs that came with the set there's also another one that i've packed in his thing then it's i've got a pack of seven of this kind from primark i think it was like two two or three pound so i've got those and then we've got these ones from tk max me and my mum saw these are reversible so they're like shiny on that side and sort of fleecy material on that side so that's those that's all the bibs he's got um, and he has two blankets. That is all. <laughs> That's not good. I found three and two two crocheted or knitted ones that I had with my daughter, and another um, another M and S one that I ha that someone bought me when I had Freddie. Um, so I I found those in the loft. So they've been washed, and I've got those as well. But I've only bought two for for him. So it's got this one, which was from Primark. I think it's like three pound. Isla picked that one so we've got that one and then the other one is white with grey stars on and that is packed in his hospital bag. I've also got one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven muslin cloths plus two in his hospital bag so that's nine muslin cloths in total. Um, I didn't really use these with my other two I'm going to try this time being more organised and sort them out better with them because I know they're good for like putting over your shoulder when you're burping them and things like that. Didn't have sticky babies. The other two weren't sticky babies so 
didn't really use them a lot, but we'll, we'll see. I've got them. Um, outfit wise, he has got kind of an outfit as a baby grow velour baby grow with a matching hat in the hospital bag, which is coming at home in. So he's got that as, a, as an outfit. He's got these little leggings that my mum picked up for us. These are from not on the high street from Blade and Rose. So that's that, but I do need to get a top or a vest or something to go to go with those. So still still searching for a top for those. We've also got this one, which I'm going to get from next, which I think is really cute. And I'm going to crochet a little grey hat to go with that because his brother wants to have a grey hat to match his grey hat that I crocheted him. And there's this little vest that goes with this. This was going to be his going home outfit, but we changed our mind now into something that will be easy to get him into. Um, but obviously, I'll wear this at, at some point. Is that outfit? This is one of the first outfits that I bought him that I could, uh, that I could take to show the kids when they came home. When we came home from the, the scan to say that it, it was a boy, we bought this one. That's, that, that one's from Next. Also, we've got this one, which I bought in. I believe I bought this in not just three because I thought, yeah, up to three months. Because I thought t-shirts and trousers are when when it's a tiny bit older. So I picked them up, picked them up that, and he needs some trousers to go with that. But I shall just get him some little soft jogging bottoms or something. And then also my sister-in-law picked up this one, um, and this is in again up to three months. Let's get that one as well, which is lovely. Um, so that's all his outfits that he's got. And they're not even full outfits. He's got two full outfits. But um, the the baby grows that are from next. They've got the scratch mix in. They've the the wash lovely. So I'm hoping to just keep them in them in the first in the first few weeks. It's it's just so much easier. But we'll see. If I change my mind, I'll, I'll buy him some outfits. Hat wise, um, again five hats packed in his hospital bag to go with. Um, the baby grows that he's got, then he's also got this little hat which is from Tesco. This one that came in a, in a set with one of the baby grows and everything. These are the these are next ones. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one goes with one of his outfits. Just a plain white one which came in a set with ear an eared one and that one's in in the hospital bag. This one to go with that little cream outfit that it was going to be his going home outfit, so that's a matching hat for that. And this one was one of the first things I bought. That was from Next, and then just another little hat. So he's got all those hats plus the other five, so I think he's got plenty of hats to keep his head warm. Um, within being due in January, so that's his hat. He's also got, he owns one cardigan at the moment. <laughs> he does need a couple more cardigans. Uh, this one's from uh, mother care to really go with his um, cream outfit that he was coming home in but it's lovely and warm and it's got ears so both fleecy inside so that'll keep him lovely and warm so that's that and I've seen I need to get him a navy one to go with his going home outfit which I really must get as soon as possible just in case he does decide to arrive early um, and that is I've seen uh, one very similar to the cream one in Marks and Spencer, or this like a fleecy navy one. I may get them both because you can't go on with a navy cardi for a little boy. And there's a fleecy one in Debenham, so we could pick up those. Right, sock wise, I haven't packed any socks in the hospital bag because it's just baby grows, he won't need the socks. And then I bought. Oh, I have some socks. I bought two packs and I believe there was either packs of three or packs of five, maybe, yeah, packs of three. Packs of three, just little socks from Primark, newborn socks. Uh, I've got a white pack and then a little blue pack, so that's, that's all his socks. Um, again, because all his um, baby grows, nearly all of them are from next. They've all got um, scratch mitts in, but I have one two and I've got another hat and that they go with one of the baby grows. So I've got those, so I've got three three sets of scratch mitts, that is all, so I may end up picking more up more of those if I need to. 
but I'm going to pack these plain white ones in this hospital bag because there is a baby girl without scratch bits in this hospital bag so they need to go in which just reminded me um, and also two of the sets came with little boots they can just go I'm not really sure why they come with boots because they're baby grow sets so you won't put boots with baby grows but hey who knows <laughs> Um, it's also got a little cow, the cow and gate cow, which I got when I signed up. So it's got this little teddy. Um, and then bits that I've crocheted for him. Um, this was the first thing that I attempted, which I think came out really well. It's just a little knot hat. found it easy to do it in um, stripes, and I could see where the stitches are. But I would, if you were thinking of having a go at crochet, definitely give it a go, because it's, it's really easy, easier than this, because that's that one. It's got this one, the same white one with, with ears. The mittens, I'm not really sure what size I've done these in and they're not identical. I've not finished them off <laughs> the finish but I just need to sew in the ends. So that's some little mittens that I've made for him. Hat again, I need to add another row when I measured it against my other ones. I felt it needed another row, so that's that. Again, need to sew the ends in. And this blanket, I need to go and get another um, ball of wool in each colour to finish this off. But this is how big it is so far and this is really simple it's like a granny square started off in the middle as just a little square then you work out and out really simple I'll, um, I believe all these patterns are from the same lady on, on YouTube I find it so much easier to follow um, patterns by a video than, than reading them in the book so I shall I shall uh, put a link to, to her channel definitely go check it out it's really easy she's really easy to understand, she doesn't go too slow, she goes just about right and obviously you can pause, get through what you're doing on that row and put, um, play it again. So brilliant. Um, I also picked up this from a nearly new sale. Um, it was £10 and it's a Hannah baby wrap um, and it's black I think. I kind of had to go, I found a video, yes it's black. I wanted one of those wraps, my husband wants a carrier. So I'm also going to buy a carrier, but I thought of £10, that's the sort of wrap I wanted to give it a go. And if I like it, I can always buy, buy a more expensive one if I need to. It's got some Tommy Chippy um, dummies, and I've also got some man ones which are in this hospital bag. So obviously the man ones can be sterilised in the box as well, so I can sterilise them at the hospital if I need them. So that's these dummies. And my mum also picked me up the Johnson's Baby First Touch set from Tesco. Um, as a gift, uh, at, that is packed in my hospital bag with with his first outfit in there that he's going to wear when he, he comes out, um, and everything else. These are the things that came in it. I'm not taking any of this stuff. So, so I've got the first touch white, the first touch all in one wash, first touch barrier cream, the baby oil which will probably save for baby massage is going to be going to that and that's what you get in that little thing plus a changing mat which I've kept in there so that might come in quite handy in the hospital and um, that's that is all he's got clothes wise and bits and bobs wise um, I've bought a pack of sensitive mommy and wipes so a four pack from Aldi and I've also bought three packs of mommy and nappy size one and one pack in size two um, I'm going to keep adding to that every time I go because they're, they're cheap and I've, I've, I use the pull-ups for my daughter and they're really good as well so I've got one pack of breast pads probably do need to get some more of those which I will do um, things like that but they're obviously not for him and um, we've also my mum also picked us up this bath she said the reviews for it are really good because it's been easy the head can go on that bit and it's got the, the spot in there and this is the tippy toes one and it's also got the plug so I can empty so that's nice and is it the one my son had was a lot bigger than this and it was a nightmare to carry around but it was full of water so that's that one we've also decided on the push chair now I know before that I said we were going for a cost to toe giggle and um, we've decided against that now I didn't like any of the new patterns that have come out there was also not available until end of January, beginning of February, um, so Costato told me, so, well that's no good because it's due beginning of January, so we can't be without a pushchair, so 
instead we've gone for a good old Quinny Buzz. It's Quinny Buzz Extra now. When we had one with my son in 2010, it was the Quinny Buzz 3, and he had the red one, and it's an absolutely fantastic posture. I really loved it. So we've gone for one of those again. Uh, last time we had a Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix car seat. This time we've got a Pebble. So I'm happy to have a different a different car seat as well. So this this is his Pebble. It's just plain black with grey. And then my mum bought us this Cocoon Baby um, wrap, which is all fleece. It's fleecy on one side and knitted on the other side. So that that'll be lovely, lovely for him. That's that, and then he's got his pebble dig. The push chair is still at my mum's. We've gone for the push chair and the foldable um, carry cot. All in, it's all in black. Um, the frame silver, but that's that's that. We've also got a rain cover for the car seat, which I thought I might need for school runs and everything, because with the weather it being as it is, probably need it. And um, we've got a separate rain cover that we have to buy separately as well on the on the push chair because we've got the push chair second hand well it was from ebay it wasn't second hand it's from a shop it's um been used as a display model the push chair still had all of its tags on the um the carry cart still got all of its tags on only the car seat has got a couple of scratches because people have put, tried it in and out of their cars when they've been trying it out see if it fits so that is it so it's, it, we've, got, we've got a really good bag and got about three or four hundred pound off it doing it that way so really really happy with that that is basically all I have and all I think you really need for, for a newborn and um, we've got obviously the cots up now uh, this was from my mum's house from when Freddie used to sleep one night a week so we've got the cot which is a mamas and papas alpine cot bed turns into a day bed when he's older so that's really nice um, and Moses basket I'm getting for Christmas <laughs> again another thing that I've asked for because we need one Cause my, as you can see it's going to be in our room it's our bedroom so we will be in this cot on a night time but my husband wants a Moses basket downstairs so I can get a couple of hours sleep hopefully and he can he stays up about three hours later than I do on a night time at the moment so he'll be able to watch him while I hopefully get a couple of hours sleep in and then I can feed him and he can go in his cot so that is hopefully the plan that 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 is really really it for what we've got for him coming. Um, I'm not buying anything, anything else. The only thing I did think that I was going to buy was some cellular blankets for his cot and a couple of sleeping bags and a grow egg because the temperature in our bedroom is it changes a lot. So they're the only things that I thought that I still needed newborn stage wise. Um, so that is what I'm going to be buying for him. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.